So I posted a video and I got one of these. A community guidelines violation for posting hateful material. This is what I posted. This is a really cool one. I had no idea this was a fact until I just looked it up. Are you aware that back in 1963, the Department of Transportation conducted a research and they were trying to figure out why it is that some drivers, some travelers were driving the speed limit in the left, in the left lane, in the fast lane. After the research that they conducted, they realized that the drivers, their moms were all whores and that they were adopted. Yeah. Meanwhile, the original post is still available and has 1.4 million views. Here you go. The original is still available, 1.4 million views. But they didn't stop there. This video was just taken down for harassment and bullying. I've been reading back through the Build Back Better bullshit, and nowhere in their documentation can I find any mention of making the Dow lose 900 points over a 30-day period. I wonder if it's by accident or by design. Does it really matter? Does it really matter at this point anymore? I think Hillary said that, right? Come on, TikTok. Making fun of our politicians isn't a violation. It's an American birthright. But they didn't stop there. I also made fun of Antifa, brought up that they had made attacks over the weekend, and that was uh, the same thing. Harassment and bullying and hateful behavior against a group that is lobbing bombs and shooting at trucks. Keep your heads on a swivel. Antifa's showing back up again. Yeah, they reared their ugly head this weekend in several cities across the country, so um, midterms are, you know, just around the corner. It's part for course. The question is, what are we going to do about it this time? Do they get to burn cities and get approval from Democrats? Does that get to continue? Is that a thing now? Is that what we do? Asking for 80 million Americans. Yeah, they got me for this one too. Hateful behavior. So let me get this straight. You want me to believe that men make more than women for the same jobs. Really? You, you want me to believe that and that it's an epidemic and it's a problem and we got to fix it and, and women have to make just as much as men. Okay, let me ask you this. If that's the case, why do companies hire men at all? They're so much more expensive. Why don't they just hire all those cheap-ass women that are out there? Yeah, stew on that one for a bit and get back with me. You know the answer. I know the answer. We all know the answer. It's because it's a lie. It's a myth. Just one more thing set to divide us. You can thank the Democrats for that, by the way. You see, I've gotten to the point that I don't think it's what I'm saying. I think it's just the fact that I'm the one saying it. What do you think?